hello there welcome to this video in this video i am going to show you how to install scom agent on servers there are two methods to install scom agents on the servers one is push method and another one is manual installation so manual installation is useful when we have any server that is behind the firewall and we cannot push the agent from scom server so in that case you can use manual installation otherwise recommendation is to use push installation because good thing is the agent is going to update automatically if you use the push installation this is scom operations console and here you can see monitoring overview so go to administration and you can see agent manage there is nothing over here but if you go to management servers you can see one server that is scom srv19 this is in healthy state that's good i'm going to show you how to how to discover server and push the agent here you can see there are three discovery type one is windows computers unix linux computers and network devices in this video i am going to show you windows computers i will show you unix linux computer and network devices in different video so let's go and click on next on this page you have two option automatic computer discovery and advanced discovery so automatic the computer discovery is going to scan all the server that is in web os3 domain okay and uh, the good thing is if you have a uh, multiple servers that you want to push the agent on those servers then use this automatic computer discovery otherwise you can choose advanced discovery so here you can select servers and clients both or servers only clients only in my case i am going to deploy this agent on server so i can select servers only but you can choose any of these but you know just to narrow down the search you can select the from these as well because if you have many computers then it is going to take time let's select servers and clients this is the management server and this should be check mark so it is going to verify that the discovered computers is able to contact because it is going to check in the domain and after checking in the domain it is going to check the server is pinging or not right otherwise it is going to be a stale record you should check this checkbox and click on next and here is scan active directory so select objects from active directory to scan or create an advanced query if you know like uh, what is the computer name and uh, you want to make a query based on that query it is going to discover the servers like servers that have web in the name right or app in the name so you can create those query over here and click ok but for a single computer it is good to browse and give the name so i'm going to deploy this agent on my domain controller so my domain controller name is bin dc19 let me check the name and uh, i think it's a uh, win dc 2019 yeah so click on ok and click next use selected management server action account you remember when we have set up management server we have given an account that is management server action account it is going to use this account to discover the agent so click on discover wait for few seconds if the domain is small it is going to take less time but if it is a large domain it is going to take longer time so here it discovered the server and now click on next and this is the installation directory and it is going to use the local system to perform this installation click on finish and here you can see the status you can also close this window but for demonstration i am going to keep it open and i will pause my video and will be back once it is done welcome back so you can see the success message task completed successfully you can close this window 
and here you can see a new managed agent but it is showing note monitor because it takes time this is really good to have patience while working on this com so it will take few minutes about 10 to 15 minutes and also depends upon the network so meanwhile we can go ahead and do a manual installation as in the previous video i have shown a sql server as well so let me go to sql server and show you how to do a manual installation i am on sql server now and i have copied system center operation manager folder on this computer so you can click on setup here you will see local agent click on that and it will start agent installation locally so click on next i agree next and here it says connect the agent to azure log analytics and connect the agent to system center operations manager so in our case i am going to check work this one click on next give the management group name that is scom 2019 and management server is scom srv 19 click on next and it is going to use the local system to install this agent and click on i don't want to use microsoft updates click on next and click install installation is complete now it's showing us a message that says you can change the agent setting in the monitoring agent section of control panel and if this installation of the agent is connected to system center operation manager make sure you configure the management server to allow manual agent installation right and uh, additional you must approve the agent in the pending management view click on finish and go to its com server and now you can see windows DC 2019 is showing healthy and uh, go to pending management but here you cannot see the server on which we have installed agent manually because that is going to show under pending management under pending management we cannot see that server as well so what is the reason the reason is we need to allow that manual agent installation for security purpose by default it is reject new manual agent installation so it is going to reject that okay so you can click on review new manual agent installation in pending management view it is not recommended to select this checkbox automatically approve new manually agent uh, install agent because you know it is good to review the server before monitoring because a suspicious server might be there right so keep it unchecked and click on apply okay and now go to pending management so still it is not showing as i said keep patience while working with scom because it takes time so here now you can see we have a new agent but it is under pending management because we have installed agent manually so we can review it and if it has correct installation we can just right click on approve so once we approve it it is going to show under agent managed and again it is showing note monitored because it will take few minutes to show as healthy so this is two methods that we can use to install SCOM agents. I haven't shown you the client uh, agent installation because I think that's the homework for you. You can create your client machine and use the same method. Click on next and here you can select clients only or keep it server and clients both and click next give the name of the server and click on discover so the process is same you can simply do that we'll wait for a few minutes until it turns to healthy so we'll be back once it shows healthy one more thing you cannot copy the whole operation manager setup to a different computer 
so you can do one thing you can go to agent and go to 64 bit and copy this mom agent so that is the same msi file that is used to install so here you can see it is showing repair and remove because agent is already installed so you can copy this file only now sql server agent is also healthy but still name domain and version is not available these information will be displayed in few minutes so we can ignore that for now that's it for this video thanks for watching have a good day bye bye